Cuboy.com. Oops, I mean new grounds. Do, be do, be do, be do, be do, be do, be do, Cuboy do. Or am I? Your face is like a swirling cappuccino, all white and foamy with a bit of chocolate powder on top. Ah, I drink you down, baby, and burn my tongue a bit because I haven't let you cool down enough. Boss is calling me. Poetry reading over. Q <gasps> boy, thank goodness. We've got trouble. Esquire Padrino is back in town, and you'll never guess what he's doing. Has he built a time warping device that is going to mess time right up and destroy Cube Earth? Uh, yes, that's what. Uh, well, guess, Q boy. I am the ultimate guesser. Indeed, you are. Who's the ultimate guesser? You, you are. You are, Q boy. Yeah. Q boy, there's no one else that can stop Padrino but you. Here, take this video phone, and I'll keep in touch. Looking forward to your call. Now to take down evil. <laughs> Esquire Padrino, I think you've had enough fun for one day, putty tat. I will tell you when I'm completing the fun time, Cuba Stupido. I'm going to pull your whiskers out and donate them to charity. Ha! First you will have to catch me, Q-Boy. Adios! <laughs> you are now time traveling. Please your trousers. Have a nice day. Q-Boy, my boy, are you all right? Boss, not only am I all right, I'm okay. Thank goodness for that. Listen, Q-Boy, Pedrino has used his time warper, and you've been caught in the path. Reading sure that you've landed somewhere in the Wild West time period. Luckily, I ate spaghetti today. Spaghetti, Q-Boy? Spaghetti Westerns, boss. <laughs> There's no time for pasta, Q-Boy. I'm getting readings that Pedrino and his henchmen have also been transported here. Q-Boy, try to... <sighs> try to explore the town and see what inform... On it, boss fellow! <laughs> Greetings! Hello. Ha. Oh. Why the long face, Narrowhead? Are you kidding me? The town's been taken over by a load of bandits, and I only have one stupid song to play. Things couldn't get any worse. Only one song? Why, you make me... Well, actually, I know two songs, and my second song is amazing. But I went for a walk in the desert, and I lost it. It's probably rolling along the sands endlessly now, never getting played. <laughs> what is your other song? It's an old-timey ditty about a local legend. But there's no point in me telling you anything else about it, because I lost it. Oh. Hello. Top marks for your mustachio. Well, this ranger, I ain't gonna be much fun to talk to, you know. This ain't a happy town, nor a safe one, so I ain't got many customers. So I ain't happy. What do you want? I am from the future. My name is Q-Boy. You sound like you're just some... I am under the limit. Well, anyway, if I was you, I'd get out of town while you can. Last I heard, they was locking the gates, keeping everyone... Who's they, and what do they want? They, they's them bandits came out of nowhere like they was magicians. They boss some feline-looking fella, and they'd taken over the town. Even like the sheriff in his own prison. Look, I don't know what you're gonna do, but if I was you, I'd get out. Here, I got some six-shooter you can have. Lord knows, little son of a gun like you is gonna need it to defend. Convenience. Thank you, and good night. Beer, barkeep, on the double. Reehaw! Finally, someone apart from the local drunk has ordered a beer. Get down the other end of the bar, son. I'll slide it to you. Oops, my bad. Barkeep. 
Oops, my bad. Beer, barkeep. Nice catch, stranger. Beer's best friend. I am Q Boy and I have brought you a drink. <laughs> You're sure my best friend, you little squirrel. I'll run around your tree. Hey, little squirrel. Hey, squirrel. Go run around the desert. You can go run around the south, east, south, west, north, west, south, and you, you find yourself another squirrel to play with. I am not a squirrel. You come back here and you buy me more beer. You understand, squirrel? <laughs> Look here. The kid's got himself a little shooter. Does that mean you want to have a showdown, son? Not only do I accept your challenge, you are stupid. Yeehaw! boy, my boy. You've wrangled yourself into a jewel. There's no turning back now. According to my research, back in the Wild West, they would wait until the signal post turns green and reads draw. Only when it is green can you shoot. If you shoot too early, then you lose because cheating is frowned upon in the Wild West. And you, boy, be sure to shoot before the bandit does, or you'll be the ultimate death friend. Oh, and press spacebar, whatever that is, to shoot. Not only do I- You boy, my boy! I am a winner. Just to let you know, Q-Boy, you can always stay at the height of- I'm gonna kill you, Gringo. What? I say I'm gonna kill you. I... I... I'm sorry, I, I don't... What? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, sorry. Come again. Ice head jet be on ear. Is that what you said? Gammy underwear, eh? Well, no thank you. I have a fresh pair on. I don't know what you mean by wet the whale with a shoe, but I'm afraid I have to go now. Ah <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> Yee-haw! Yee-haw! Indeed! Be careful, Q-Boy! It's one bandit at a time, but they'll be a little bit quicker than the last one! Be a bandit. I want to be an artist. Maybe a web designer. You deserve a swift bullet to the face, or thereabouts. I am 
final winner. QI, be careful. You're entering the relentless desert. It's dangerous, hot, and you'll get sand in your little shoes. Make sure... I think everything's going to be just fine, boss. Ahaha. <laughs> Was that a sand joke, Q-Boy? I'm so glad you under sand, boss. Ahaha. <laughs> Brilliant joke, Q-Boy. Boss out. Drunk or not, those sounded like directions to me, Q-Boy. Yeah, I will smash it then. Unhands that fair maiden. Prepare to hit the dust. Prepare to hit the cue boy. Bye, cue boy. Pre prepare to get hit by cue boy. That, that's what I meant. You save me. Very good stranger. Q-Boy my name. Save you my game. Q-Boy many big friend of my tribe. Knock knock. Not Q-Boy. I will give you one gold tooth for your bow and arrow. No. Bow and arrow Indian heritage. Cannot give to not Indian. Even if friend. This makes me sad. This makes me sorry. I'd like to be baptized into Indianity, please. Only way become Indian is guess Indian leader name. You guess name of me. I give up, but with Q-Boy as my... I love bullying this bear ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't think he can bear it any longer. <laughs> guys, guys, can we just get down to the bear facts? <laughs> oh, oh, man. You guys are jerks, all of you. Get your insults off of him, you tote, old bunch of losers. What the heck? How dare you use a terrible pun on us? Ja, we're the meanest totem heads in town. Yes, yeah, so shut up or we'll knife ya. Knife me, I will knock your head off, all of them. Wow, guys, this guy seems serious. Maybe we should give the bear a break. Yeah, maybe you should. Shut up! He's goofy and he smells like shame. Why should we give him a break? <laughs> Turtle baby, I'm going to poke you in the eye. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't mean it. He means to punch all of you in the privates. Now I'm going to pick your face off. Bird, your mother and father have disowned you. Mommy, Daddy, I have shamed you! Ha <laughs> ha, that was great! You really showed those guys who's boss. Boss B, McBoss. You're the nicest guy I've ever met, mister. Say, would you mind taking me away from here? I can't stand being by these totem bullies any longer. If you'll let me tag along, I'll also let you in on a little secret. Tell me that little secret and I'll... You know that Indian guy? Well, his name isn't very authentic at all. His real name, I mean. See what he says to you if you call him Harold Biggins. An interesting fact indeed. Very well. Jump into my pocket and let's be off, bear friend. I'd like to be baptized into... Oh. Is it Harold Biggins? That I... Uh... Oh, all right, all right, you got me. Yeah, my name's Harold Biggins, and I'm not really from the Wild West. I'm from... Uh, the North. Why the Indian impression? Why not something more flavorsome, like a Cuboy impression? 
I don't know. I just always wanted to be an Indian ever since I was a kid. I filled out application forms to join the other Indian tribes around here, and each one rejected me. So I decided to start my own tribe. Listen, I can't let word get out that I'm some phony Indian. If that happens, no one will ever join my tribe. If I give you my spare Indian outfit, will you keep Hush Hush? Uh, so is that a yes? Yes! Great, you're a pal. Oh, and I almost forgot. You guessed my name, so welcome to the tribe. Here, take this. No, congratulations. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. If you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to my Indian accent. Gotta keep practicing. Thanks again. Special delivery for Mr. Longface Piano Guy. What? I have a present for you. Yeah? What is it? It's your lost song. My... my song! My other song! You found it! This is great! Thank you so much, stranger! Now I can finally play something else! Let's give it a whirl! boy says hello. Now it's your turn. My, my, my. Ain't you just the sweetest little thing I ever did see? My name's Delilah. Pleased to meet you. What are you doing up here? I'm just waiting for a new customer. See, I'm kind of the entertainment round here, if you catch my drift. I'll catch your drift in a minute, young lady. <laughs> You're cute. I've always wanted to be a lady of the night. Well, now, that doesn't surprise me too much. Perhaps you could teach me. No thank you, hon. I barely get by as it is without having competition. But if you really want to give it a go... Tales of your kindness will be told. You're under arrest for being ugly. Hmm. If I wasn't so desperate for your cash, I'd show you the- Give me a kiss. No. Greetings! So then, what is the story behind this other song? Uh-huh, glad you asked. This song tells a beautiful local story of folklore. Legend has it that our very own clock tower is home to the spirit of a legendary horseman. Intriguing! And who is this legendary horse fellow? The fastest rider in the West, of course. The story goes that anyone who manages to summon him will be challenged to a race. And if they win, they get his horse. How does one summon the legendary horseman? The clock has to be struck by a solitary arrow shot by a hero pure of heart. And because the horseman is afraid of gunshots... Sounds too easy enough for Q-Boy. Well, that's if you could summon him and if you could beat him. Anyway, I love this... And it truly is not that interesting a story or... Cowboys and cowgirls, it's everybody's favorite legendary- Hooray! Uh-huh, uh, hold up a sec. There's only one person here, and you sure don't look like a cowboy or a cowgirl. You just look like a weirdo. My name is Legendary Cowboy. Legendary, huh? What a coincidence, I'm legendary too. What can I do for you? 
I have summoned you and challenged you to a race. The way? Hey, hell, a new challenger, huh? Oh boy, I ain't raced no one in some time. Alrighty, well, here's how it works. If I win, I get to humiliate you and call you names and brag about how great I am and how much you suck. Sounds reasonably reasonable. And if you win, which you won't, I'll give you my prized horse, the black one you can see over there. Very well. Prepare to get raced upside the the hell do you think you're doing, you rodeo clown? We ain't gonna race real horses. Jeez, I've never even been on that horse before. Thought of it scares me half to death. Are you suggesting a naked piggyback race and No, stupid. I'm suggesting we race in one mega super duper pixel 16-bit color widescreen handheld gameplay toy. All you gotta do is read the instructions and- I'm ready, horse breath. Whee! <laughs> Yee-haw! I knew you were a loser both in real life and in digital. <laughs> well, time to pay up, sucker. What will you have me do? You gotta put on this t-shirt and wear proud. Well, how's about a race? I'm ready, horse breath. Wee-haw! I believe you owe me one horse. Huh, whatever. It was a lucky win anyway. Uh, but a deal's a deal, I guess. Huh. Alrighty. You can take my horse Dave over there. It's the pretty black one. Just treat her well, okay? Agreed. Oh, and you are rubbish because I won. Yeah, well, I'm here if you want a rematch, chump. Here he is. He find us. Go boy! I knew I could have smell something stupid. You'll be smelling a smack on the bottom in a minute, Padrino. First, you will have to get past my three best bandits. Ten bucks says I shoot him first. And now for the conclusion of this fairy tale. The only fairy here is you, cowboy. 
What? I said the only fairy king is Joe! Oh, that is a rude thing to say. Come to me, horse friend. Oh, please. Come to me, horse friend. Cool boy, my boy, this is it! The final showdown! Stay alert, and I'll try and give you a hand along the way! Watch out, Cool boy, jump! Abandon, Cool boy! Get him, Cool boy! of high fives. There's plenty more high fives where they came from. You think you have one, Q-Boy, but I still have the time warp. <laughs> Not if my face has it first. Jump! No! Please hold on to your trousers. Have a nice day. Will Q-Boy successfully warp himself to safety? Is this really the last we'll see of Padrino? Is this cliffhanger really exciting? Will I finish this sentence before the crit- <laughs>